Are you ready? Yes. Great. I love to be in this side of the... <laughs> <laughs> you don't Ask like to be questioned. Yeah. <laughs> Asking questions is easy. Coming up with the answers is sure. difficult. Sure. Yes. Yeah. What is one thing about yourself you never told to your students before? So I think um, before I was in the sports science industry, I was actually doing uh, HR and um, I did that in my poly mm -hmm. and then um, of course Singaporean you have to go to NS and all that. Um, so during my NS I actually um, got into an injury for my knee so I busted my knee during my NS training so I tore my ACL and meniscus uh, but what happened was um, I met this rehab trainer uh, day one post my surgery I met this rehab trainer um, where I was doing my rehab and I really enjoyed the way he did his rehab training. I changed the way I viewed rehab. Um, in fact, my leg that was injured is much stronger than it was before. So I realized that that's the impact that someone could have um, with the right passion and that stuck on to me. So after that, I kept thinking about what to do. And in army, you have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So I kept thinking about what to do and then I slowly um, came about to this industry starting off um, as a personal trainer and then slowly pursuing my degree and then after that uh, the rest is uh, history. Um, what is the most difficult class or module that you have taken with me? Okay, so basically I took exercise physiology with you, anatomy and exercise rehab. These are the three subjects that it's the dif most difficult I ever took. So anatomy and physiology is something that is really neat to memorize. And it's... For me, it's tough. It's really tough. They're all tough for me. <laughs> But I really like the exercise we had part because I actually had plans for going overseas to actually further rehabilitation. And so that that module actually gave me a basic understanding to it, um, an insight of what exercise rehabilitation would be like and what could happen in the industry, which I think is it's really something that I can take into consideration if, let's say, if I were going to further my education in that area. Okay. So how do you actually support students from diverse backgrounds, like international students and local students? I think with international students, um, the most important barrier that they have to get over is language. So uh, we do have certain segments in classes where I get them to do a little bit more reading, um, get them to discuss uh, journal articles, improve their language. So I think that's something that we help with uh, international students. Uh, with local students, I think industry connection is the most important. So for students who are passionate to get an internship placement, uh, to get that experience while they're studying, uh, this is where the lecturers step in and we connect them to these organisations so that they can get the exposure as well. In terms of current fitness trends, mm. what do you think about them? And do you think they are useful or do you think they are overrated? So I feel that you know the public, the general public must have a certain degree of knowledge to it. But unfortunately, you know, with the advance of um, internet, you know, there are so much misinformation. As a sports science student, um, getting the knowledge from the university, getting the knowledge from our lecturers, I hope that one day I could actually, you know, guide the general public to choose something that is suitable for them rather than, you know, following the popular trend. Do you think that um, the athletes in Singapore receive enough support? Like for example, the government or the social expert? I think there are some sports uh, that are definitely well funded. Um, there are some sports that are not. 
Um, and this is the nature of, of sports, um, especially in a country like Singapore. Um, we have our own NSA, National Sporting Organisations, that, that provide funding for athletes as well. Uh, but then again, we have some individual athletes that train themselves. So I think um, with regards to funding, I think it has definitely increased as we see in the last few years. Um, and if I remember correctly, I think the money set aside for the athletes are continuously growing. So I think in the sphere of Singapore sports, uh, we are an upcoming industry, I can say, but I can confidently say that we are definitely in the right trajectory um, from now and the years to come.